So, Martin Carruthers joins us after the 4-1 win over Hanley Town in the FA Cup. Martin, that was by no means a straightforward cup tie, was it? But in the end, you've won it reasonably comfortably. Yeah, the scoreline was certainly flattering in the end, you know, and uh, we knew before the game it was going to be a very tough game. Uh, we knew all about them, we did our own work, you know, we knew they were very organised. Um, you know, we watched some clips of their previous games, in the, uh, you know, certainly against Redditch, and I had a report from the Reading Redditch team, and, and he told me all about them and how dangerous they, they, they were going to be. And, you know, in, in fairness to them, you know, they put a great block on first half and, and we couldn't break them down. And, and they went 1 0 up, and, you know, we, we, we were struggling to create anything and, and, and find a way through. But luckily, you know, um, down the left hand side, a great finish from Zach, and a great bit of work down the left from Zach, and a, a, a great finish from Nat Watson put us 2 1 up at, at half time. You know, and even at half time, I said, Look, this, this game's by no means over. They're going to come at us, we're going to be under pressure, and the next goal is going to be critical, and uh, it certainly proved to be that way. The penalty save will obviously be looked at as being a crucial time in the game because if that goes in, clearly it changes the complexion. How big a moment was that in your eyes? Absolutely huge, and you know, in football there are fine margins, and you know, and uh, certainly in the FA Cup there are heroes and villains. And Ricardo was the hero in the last round, and, and Ross Durant's our hero today. You know, um, we did put some clips up in, and we, we did put the clip of the video of the uh, of his last penalty in, and I was, you know, in my head telling him to dive to the left, and it was a fantastic save. And you know, we have to be honest, and if they would have scored that, it goals change games, and they would have been on the ascendancy, uh, and would have been under the cosh. You know, so we're, you know, it's a, a critical moment, you know, and then we score two, two late goals, which is, which is flattering. But like you say, it, it was a, a pivotal moment in the game and we, and we have Ross to thank for that. So the next round is only 10 days or so away. You've got two away games in the league before that. Um, things are going well, but I mean, you've got to main, try and maintain this momentum, I guess, haven't you? Yeah, momentum's massive, you know, and, uh, you know, even against the 10 men against Stamford, I, I told the boys it was an excellent point. Just don't get beat, you know, get that mentality where we want to win games, you don't want to get beat, you know, and it becomes a habit and it's getting there now and, and I still think, you know, we're, we're not the finished article, I still think there's more to come from us, I still think, you know, there's this three or four players who are still 10-15% away from full fitness, so we're going to get better, we're going to get stronger, you know, our set pieces are still not on point, so th there's lots to work on and there's loads of positives. You know, and like you say, we've got Spalding away, then Market Drayton, you know, and we're just really hoping for a, another home tie, you know, down here just to, to keep us going. But like you say, the longer we can maintain this form and, and keep a winning run going, you know, it's, it's all benefits for the future. Great. Thanks for your time, Martin. Cheers. Nice one.